And then there's obviously the low mood, which we kind of touched on at the very start. Yeah. Um, so I think we should spend some more time on that because I know when we spoke previously, it was it was a really interesting point that you made about the way guys behave when they're suffering low mood and depression. Yeah. And we 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 briefly touched on it already because I, I I definitely recognise this behaviour where if I'm you know not in a great spot. I just don't want to talk to people. And I think there's a lot of messaging at the moment around uh, men's mental health about, you know, talk, it's good to talk. Yeah. Uh, you know, and yeah, it is. And they should and they can. But I think you made an interesting point that typically guys, although they can, they won't. Yeah. Um, and that's a big factor. So let's that's, that's just talk a little bit more about, I guess, the link, um, yeah, between the, the, the sort of, potentially the deficiency in testosterone and the depression, but then obviously the men just not doing anything about it. Mm. Like what, what do you typically see? Apathy. Yeah. Can't be asked. Yeah. Um, and they get a bit boring. They don't want to go out. They don't want to do stay up drinking. They just kind of get a bit flat and a bit grey man. Um, they might just be turning up as opposed to, you know, relating and conversing and stuff um and can just get flat and I had one guy bless him just saying I don't even want to hang out with me (laughs) it was just like he didn't really feel like he had much to offer the group Mm. and that that sort of social withdrawal I think it's it's for some guys it's not even getting tearful it's not getting angry it's just not really caring and just getting really flat whereas you know um and i think sometimes that that might mean that they wouldn't go i'm really low because actually if you ask them what they're really low about they don't really know Mm. um it's just just a feeling isn't it yeah it's just a feeling you just sometimes i think we all get it anyway but you you wake up you can't be asked to get to bed yeah but then i think it's recognizing that if you if that's happened over weeks months Mm. even years like you said yeah you know, it's probably high probability that yeah. you have got low test. Yeah. Yeah, that the, the apathy thing is, is an interesting one because I think I've I've seen it um before written that it's just like the you've just lost the lust for life. Yeah. And I think that's a really good way to kind of think about it. Um yeah. and if if you kind of you kind of mentioned this already like one one or two anecdotes, but do you see like people that come into your clinic that are uh are sort of being medicated with antidepressant oh, medication? God, yeah. 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 Do they come off of yeah, um, and it, it, sometimes depending on how long they've been on them for, um, it has to be done slowly. And it's definitely not something I'd recommend people do off their own back. Um, it, it still needs to be done slowly. And like I said, the support and the, the mental health work that they have to put in themselves. Because the other thing is that you can then give them testosterone replacement therapy, but if they've been depressed or having low mood for 10 years, even if you give testosterone replacement, they're not necessarily all of a sudden overnight going to go ah back in. S- mindset, some do, but yeah, exactly. It changes their mindset and that mental plasticity that they get from being positive, outward looking people. They've developed a habit of being a bit ill um, or a bit flat sometimes for some people. Um, and so that's where actually going through the process of you know resetting goals for some people and it might be that they're they get to a stage now where they are in a better space to be doing things like cbt for example um or taking a different approach and that's why the the whole underpinning thing of actually having some health coaching um you know boosting your hormones as well by doing some decent training and you know hitting some goals and and trying to make yourself accountable and things and all of those good things are still super important Mm -hmm. but can take a lot of different approaches but i think sometimes where there have been life events that have also been challenging for them that they haven't even been able to they haven't had the energy the inclination or just that meh to be able to hit um at that point with trt can sometimes seem a little bit more manageable um with with additional support 